into the Blitz uh, Gold giveaway with myself and Muffin. So I'm going to hand over to Muffin now. Uh, he's going to explain a little bit what we're going to do here in this video. Over hey. to you, Muffin, man. Awesome. Awesome. Super happy to do this with Armor. This is great. I uh, love our subscribers. Uh, welcome, everyone. Yes, uh, as Armor said, we're going to be doing the gold giveaway of a few that we had picked out here. So excited to announce. Um, we'll be going through and announcing the winners kind of one by one throughout the whole vid. So stay tuned. And then we'll be answering some of your guys' questions. So um, we'll be diving into uh, announcing the first winner here. Do you uh, want to do that, or do you want me to go ahead and do that? Um, I think you can go ahead and do that, Muffin, uh, as you're the host on this channel. But uh, how about uh, some extra good news for our subscribers? As you said, we love those guys. They're what make everything worthwhile. Instead of giving away five gold bundles, we are going to give away... Another 1,500. Yeah. Yeah, six gold <laughs> bundles. So already it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, so yes, we're gonna have six winners. So uh, that's why six winners. So um, over to you, Muffin. You want to make the first announcement, and then we'll go into the Q and A. And if it's okay with you, I took the questions on um, I think my channel. So while I'll, I'll lead off, I'll do the MC on the questions. Yeah. Beautiful. Sounds good. So our first win uh, winner is. Uh, Jeannie Sathwick. Congratulations. The first winner of our 1500 gold bundle. Apologize if I uh, pronounced the name wrong. But uh, yeah. that is one of our first ones. So we'll be doing all the 1500 bundle gold ones first, and then we'll be doing the uh, larger bundles um, at the end. Cool. We should probably forewarn our viewers that we're probably going to make a mess out of pronouncing every single name of the winners, <laughs> right? We didn't make yes. it easy on ourselves. <laughs> yes. The random, the random <laughs> selection of the names threw up names from all over the world, and um, we're probably not going to pronounce them all properly, so we do apologize in advance for that. Really sorry about that, guys. But I guess the gold will help compensate the pain of having your name mispronounced on YouTube. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll go right into the Q&A. Yeah, we will indeed. And um, so um, first question comes from, um, I have to say, uh, Muffin, this is probably one of the best names I've ever heard. This is a guy called Fabian Arcandian, <laughs> which I just think is an amazing name. He sounds like the best smuggler in the Star Wars universe, <laughs> right? You know? He does, I agree. Yeah, absolutely, you know, so... Oh, we'll never catch them. They've hired Fabian Arcandian. <laughs> he can do, he can do the run in ten parsecs. That is. This is just. Yeah, it's just that is. Brilliant. That seriously <laughs> does sound like a name that would be in that, that movie. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the smuggler Han Solo wants to be. You know, so he's just, <laughs> it's a brilliant name. So Fabian, thanks so much for, dropping by with the question. And uh, actually, he has a great question. His question is, uh, what's our favorite tank? And uh, not in Blitz, but of, 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 of uh, real life in World War II. So maybe you want to go ahead first, Muffin? Yeah, I'll kick it off. So uh, I like the classics, history, just in general. I would have to stick with the Tiger I. Um, just such a monster, uh, very just awesome cannon, um, just a good tank. And um, yeah, just a very historical um, piece. I guess you could say it. I just, just really like that. Yeah, and I think a good choice, and probably my number two pick would be the Tiger one. My pick is going to be a tank, which um, I'm going to stay in the German tech tree, by the way, if we can use that terminology as blitters. But um, I'm going to go for it. The tank I'm going to pick, it lacks the mysticism and the aura of the Tiger one, but I'm going to go with the Panther. Um, I think I was saying to you earlier that you know, I just finished reading a book called Retribution, which is about um, the Eastern Front in 1943, and the Panther had just been introduced, and um, after they ironed out the initial engine problems, the Panther was just a, a really awesome and effective tank, and um, in, one, in one part of the book, there's a scene where the, both the Soviets and the Germans are trying to race back to the Dnieper, the Germans to form a defensive line, the Soviets stopped them. And there's one Panther, which is actually, um, its engine's not working, so it's dug in, and it takes out like 24 uh, T-34s on its own oh, and survived wow. the battle. So I think for that alone, I'm going to go with the Panther. Uh, but I think we, we have similar taste in terms of the, the tech tree. So. <laughs> did, did you know that somebody found a Panther in somebody's basement, like I think 40 years what? or something after the war? It's like 
you can see articles and YouTube videos. Some guy had pulled in a broken down Panther, fixed it up, repaired it, kept it in his basement for years, like 40 years or something, and then somebody ended up wow. finding out about it. I think he was arrested. Okay, yeah, I mean, it is pretty much a, a, a lethal weapon, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> but um, it reminds me that um, um, I used to live in Budapest, and um, they had these protests there um, a few years ago. And this is a true story. They had, a, like, a, a monument there, which is on T-34. I think it might be from the 1956 Soviet invasion or something like that. But for some reason, it was in working order, and it had fuel. So one of, one of the guys protesting actually had done his national service and he knew how to drive it. So he started driving it across the bridge in the center of Budapest. And I mean, doesn't, the cops didn't have anything that could stop it. So um, <laughs> it seems yeah. crazy that the tank would be in working order and have diesel in it, right? So Wow. But uh, yeah, that's amazing. amazing. Huh? Yeah, maybe if I, maybe so I know I have some Hungarian uh, subscribers, so maybe any of them might watch this, maybe even give us some more of the details of that. I'm sure if you the news articles about it in the comment section sure so um let's take one more question before we go to the next winner maybe so um this is from from uh are we by on blitz and his or maybe it's a her it's not really um the letters are going to gen gender neutral <laughs> um so for me it's what is my favorite camouflage in the game and the question for you muffin and maybe you take this first is what's your favorite episode in your blitz movie uh in your blitz movie series all right, so I would have to say my favorite episode, um, a lot of work, is probably episode 10, which is the last episode of the first movie, uh, hour and 20 minutes total, by the way, um, and the next episode is part of the second movie is episode 13, the introduction of the KV-2. Um, okay. So... If you haven't seen them yet, uh, check it out. But those are definitely probably my two favorite. Okay, cool. And I look forward to checking them out because when we spoke earlier, you asked me if I'd seen any of your movies. I've only seen the first two because uh, I only discovered your channel in three or four weeks ago. So I'm looking forward to watching those. Sounds great. So, yeah. Thank you. And then I guess if I quickly answer, so my favorite camouflage in the game, uh, it's probably the legendary camo on the Object 140, which makes it the Object 140 Terror. Just because I think, you know, it's one of my favorite um, tier 10 mediums, um, really love it, and if you play it well, it really is a terror, so I think the camo is aptly named, so I'd go, go, I have to go with that. That's a good one. I, I, I do agree. I do like that one. Okay, cool. So maybe we let's go then to next winner, and um, I think this is my turn to announce, right? So our next winner, and again, this is a 1500 bundle of gold is, and I, again, I'm probably not going to pronounce this cor correctly, so I do apologize. Gabri Lego, or Grab Gabri Lego, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so. Or is it, or maybe it's Gabrielle Lego, I'm not really sure. But basically, <laughs> um, YouTube username is I don't need a last name, which is actually a pretty cool handle, I have to say. So uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll, uh, myself and Muffin will be in touch. We'll email you directly about how you can pick up your uh, 1500 calendar uh, gold um, bundle so um, so let's take a couple of other questions here let me uh, go back to my channel page so next question is from Varad and um, Mr. Unknown is his YouTube username and his question to both of us is how do we get the idea about making a YouTube channel um, um, and then um, question to me um, about not monetizing my channel why do I kind of do it we have another question like that later on so I'll leave that answer to later so maybe we'll just answer this question first about um, uh, how do we get the idea for making a YouTube channel so maybe over to you Muffin if you yeah, want to answer that um, one first kick that off so I think it started off a long journey so uh, years ago um, I started off just with Airsoft I don't know if any of one is familiar with airsoft I'd done that for a bit and just started uploading videos and I just kind of had uploaded just some random stuff and then just enjoyed doing it and then I got into the game and thought you know let me just go ahead and make a quick tips and tricks vid you know nothing too special and the first vid um, ended up getting a lot of views I think it's got like 41,000 views on it and uh, one of my more popular ones so I just decided <laughs> just decided to keep it going 
Okay, cool. And 41,000 views for your first video is very impressive, I have to say. So kudos on that. Um, for me, um, yeah, I, I just, um, um, like, so I, I think I told you this before, like, and I've said it in some of the videos, when I started playing Blitz, I was like, oh, I was off. I hadn't a clue what I was doing. I had a 38% win rate and probably 34, that 38% was down to being on a good team. So it was just an awful player. So I started watching like um, Bushka, uh, Martin Dogger, um, then later on Meadzi and um, try to improve. Um, but my, um, like my clan didn't have a YouTube bit, uh, uh, channel, so I decided to make a couple of videos. But not um, proper videos, like you know, tutorials or that. I would actually, there was funny videos. Because I didn't, I didn't really feel I was good enough player to make proper videos. So I just started doing these funny videos. And the first one I ever did was um, um, was uh, in the playing the A twenty, and I did it in this kind of um, Dutch Dutch accent, you know. So I was like, "Yes, this is a great little tank. It's the A twenty. It's a little Russian tank. We're driving it around the map. It's really cool." <laughs> so um, I have to probably should apologise to Martin Dogger who's watching that for that really bad Dutch accent. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. Uh, um, uh, but. Um, you know, I um, and then I started. Then I did one with um, a Glaswegian accent. You know, see this tank. This tank is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Drives like a stolen car around Glasgow. <laughs> and um, then I did. Um, then I did. Um, well, the the French dude, right? Which um, actually a lot of my subscribers have asked me if I do again. You know, the arrogant French dude. He's <laughs> <laughs> the French tanks are the best. They laugh at your English Morris dancing tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it up, English man. <laughs> so. Um, so, I, I, but then I guess the channel kind of got um, some traction on that. Then I, uh, people asked me if I could do actually some, um, you know, proper videos. And maybe as I improved as a player, I felt a bit more confident that I could do that. So that's sort of how, how it developed. Um, so I hope, hope that answers your question, Varad, from both myself and Muffin. Um, so let's take one more question, then we go to, um, we'll go to uh, next uh, prize winner. Um, so, um, yeah, this is the interesting one, and we discussed this earlier, right? So this one is from Robert Jackson, um, and he's Weirdo Warrior uh, is his in-game name on the North American server. And his question to us is, which tank would we, in the tech tree, would we permanently enrich? So maybe uh, over to you, Muffle. Yeah, um, so honestly, I've never enriched a tech tree tank. Um, I don't really care. I guess too, um, and I just learned about it actually quite recently. Um, even though I've been playing this game for six years, um, so and as a YouTuber, we play a ton of different tanks anyway, um, just for you guys. And so, honestly, my recommendation is if you're looking to decide, because I know I've had some subscribers ask this before, like which 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 tank should I enrich? Honestly the one that you enjoy playing the most yeah i would have sure. to say for sure yeah i totally agree with you on that um you know um i've never enriched a tank either and exactly for the same reason that you say and um, because we play different tanks also i jump between a lot of accounts and um, because i have to keep um playing uh, sort of under, the nom uh, under anonymous names and um, so that i don't get targeted in the game or get abuse or whatever so i um so I don't I jump between accounts and tanks because we're always doing reviews for the subscribers and that and we're playing tanks just so they can so that we can share the experience with them. So yeah, so it doesn't really work for us to enrich it. Um, but as Jackie as you said, it's whatever tank you like playing that you love, uh, that you're gonna go back to time and time again, that would be the tank. Um I know one of my uh, deputy clan leads, um Jay Degas, has one enriched tank and it's his favourite tank, which is the T fifty four lightweight because he just loves playing that tank and he's really, really good at it. So that's why he enriched that. So I would just say to you guys, just follow his lead and just, if you're gonna enrich something, enrich that tank that you really, really love, the tank that has a special place in your heart. Yeah, the one that fits your style. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so maybe we'd go back to make another uh, winner yeah. announcement. So back to, back to you, Muffin, and again, this is for 1500 gold, right? Yep, that's it. Um, so our next winner is Nicola W. Congratulations um, on our next winner. Okay, excellent stuff. Yeah, congratulations, Nicola. Uh, hopefully, we managed to pronounce that one right. I mean, really, <laughs> if we didn't, if we messed that one up, we're in big trouble, right? So, 
That one's probably yeah. one of the easier ones. Yeah, let's yeah, let's hope we let's hope we just managed to get that one right anyway. So yeah. Um, okay, so let's take another question. Um, this one is from um, Berserker. Actually, this is a really really good question. I have to say, more from um, uh, Berserker is asking. And by the way, he's my neighbour here. He lives uh, near Czech Republic and Hungary, so he's my Central European neighbour. He's asking, you know. And why do why did we start and why do we keep going with um, um our blitz channels when you know the blitz community itself is maybe a bit toxic or can be very toxic and I guess his question is like you know given the time and effort we put in is the blitz community really deserving of it given there's such levels of toxicity and he said even other YouTubers have mentioned that talked about this toxicity and then he's a then he's a special um second question is like what's what's the plan b if the channel doesn't work out um, and then a big thank you for to both of us for doing the giveaway so maybe if you want to take yeah, that one first that's actually very interesting very good question um honestly like um i play the game because i love it i make the vid because i i make videos and i've got a youtube channel because i love it and honestly like i want to promote and help um ex um Put off that good vibe, that positive vibe for the YouTubers. Because um, honestly, like, yeah, in all toxicity with uh, the game itself and the community, haters are going to hate. But I'm really hoping to bring a positive vibe um, with my channel. Um, really, really do something good for you guys. Um, and yeah, like, like I said, I mean, I primarily do it because I love the game. I, uh, um, I love making videos and, and I, and I want to do something for you guys. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's pretty much, I would echo what you're saying there. I mean, um, you know, I think for me, I'm a great believer in the words of Edmund Burke who said that, um, you know, the only thing necessary for evil to prevail is for a uh, good man to do nothing. So in other words, if you can do something good to help people, to help the community in general, you should. Um, and I think, you know, uh, um, I uh, I really think that you know I you know I, we discussed this earlier. I don't like this word influencer. Right? I think it's uh, quite a, uh, you know a strange word to use. But I guess as 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 we as YouTubers who have um, you know thousands of people following us and this, we are in a position to influence their attitude to the game. And if we present the good side of the game, how to play it well, how to be respectful to their players, and um, not to be overly critical. Um, uh, to teach them maybe patience to be a bit more zen which is a word I've used quite often in my videos um, you know then it, even if that, that rubs off on just a few people I think we've made a huge difference and then with the giveaways and these other things that we do um, then hopefully we're making it a better place so you know it's not just we shouldn't just sit back and accept that it's it's toxic or whatever we can actually do something positive to change that and I think that you know you and I do I hope put out very positive vibes and make people people feel better about themselves, the game, and the community as a whole. So that would sort of be uh, my my answer to that question. Yeah, I'd say like in a in a world of where there's a lot of negative influence, just be you can you can control what you do, and you can be that that change for good, that positive influence. So just be that that positive. Yeah, yeah, totally. And you know, and I guess you know, uh, having discovered your channel and then met you, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the collaboration with you. Is that you know, I felt that we sort of shared the same, the same view and this um, positivity about the about the game, and, and and that's why you know, I thought it'd be great for us to do something together. And um, yes, I hope and hopefully um, this collaboration is the first of many, and hopefully also um, is making a bit of a difference to the community as well. So yeah, so all good. Yep, stay positive. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay, so next question is from. But I actually think that's a great question. So thanks, Berserker. Really good question. Oh, so oh, sorry. The last part of this question is: uh, Do we have a plan B? Um, well, this is not a plan A, right? I know both you and I have full-time <laughs> jobs, right? Yeah. So this doesn't. This does. Uh, this definitely doesn't pay any bills. So <laughs> this is just a hobby for us, I guess, right? Yeah, that's it. Just hobby. Okay. So thanks again, Berserker. Um, next is from Black Myth. YouTube name user Black Black Myth, um, and uh, Black Myth could also be a he or she has a couple of questions for us. Um, how did we be, firstly, and then who told us first about Blitz or who got us started? 
playing Blitz and uh, much love to you both. So no, thank you very much, Black Myth. So um, I guess, and how did we meet? I guess I actually should thank you, Muffin, for that because you it's really down to you. You um, did this really cool video where you did this mini review of different other YouTubers. Um, and a couple of my subscribers told me about the video and um, so I came along, had a look at it, and then checked out your channel. And that was only like what, maybe four weeks ago or something. It wasn't so long ago. Yeah. So that's how that's how we met. So I think it's down to you and my subscribers. So I can't take any credit for this. And also, you paid me a really, really um, odd but really, really amazing compliment in your <laughs> review of my channel. So maybe you want to explain that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, I I've been learning of a lot of different. YouTubers through my subscribers and suggesting different ones and so I was going over and, and watching a lot and that's that's actually how I um, uh, ran into Armored Pants and watching his videos and I, I could not help but think that uh, the first thing that would always come to my mind is that he genuinely sounded like a tanker. I was listening to uh, like a World War II tanker talk about Blitz videos. <laughs> so I just yeah, thought it was which so is, cool. Which was an amazing compliment and it kind of stood out for me. And then I just had to contact you after that, right? So um, <laughs> that's how that's how this online bromance started, right? So um, and um, it's interesting that you said that because just a couple of days ago, one of my subscribers put a good comment that they were saying that, you know, because the British tanks have the American voices, right? So it's just in English. So they say, yeah. oh, cool. If, if you did the 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 uh, British tanking voices, you know. So I was thinking about. It. I think it would be cool. I think we're a long way away from. But I was just thinking, you know, it could be really cool, you know. So uh, that's it, chaps. This tank's done for. <laughs> Out forget, you know. So I thought, um, bullseye. That's a bingo, chaps. So you know, <laughs> a little preview we've for war gaming if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, we've set him on fire. So I just thought that would be. Uh, uh, yeah. Take that, take that, Fritz. Um, so, uh, um, I think that, yeah, but uh, I think we're way away from that. But I think it's a great question. So, um, but again, credit to Muffin on that one. Yeah, and, so put uh, your, oh, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah and then, I was gonna, then, oh, yeah, I was just going to say, put your go. vote in for armored pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, um, and because it's a British Q, uh, tank, you can even have a Scottish guy in there, you know. So, oh, yeah. this tank's fucked, ain't you, get boys? <laughs> so, um, she can't he take any more, Captain. <laughs> that's, that's been done somewhere before, I think, hasn't it? Um, uh, so, um, the, the second part of the question is who introduced you to Blitz or how did you first discover it as, to, as a game? Yeah, so how I discovered it. I was always on uh, the App Store just checking out different games. I had played a lot of uh, different games. I, I was more into like first person shooters like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. I'd done that a lot and had them on my iPad and stuff. and. So I was just scrolling through the app store and had, had come across, uh, come across. I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, tanks, you know, let me try it out. And um, kind of embarrassing, but I went into it thinking it was another storyline game, like Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. when I went to go choose my nation and the first tank, I mean, it was way different back in the day. Like, I don't even know if there was a training. I think it just kind of threw you in something. So um, I went in as an American tank, and I'm like, why do I have a German tank next to me? <laughs> like, what? why do I have, like, all these different... So, anyway, it was just kind of funny and confusing, but I just kept playing it, and that's how I how I started. Oh, yeah, cool. And it's, uh, uh, my story is a bit simpler. Um, my brother was in a clan, an online gaming clan, and they had played many, many games, Sky Gamblers, some old, um, uh, back in the day, online fighter race games and then the clan started playing world of tank blitz and i said my brother run a history page together called napoleon's notebook on facebook and he knows i'm interested in tanks and military history and that so he said you should try this game so that's how i now get into it and then you know people like dennis white who was my clan lead um, in game named black rose who was the clan lead at the time uh other uh, deputy clan leads like tom charlesworth and um, my current clan lead um tips mix tiger that they really became um, sort of friends, uh, real life friends. And um, that sort of really then gave me the glue to kind of stick with it, you know, so um, yeah. And now I've got some other great friends through through the game, like real life friends, you know. Um, so uh, like uh, JD Gas, um, 
Robert O'Neill, uh, some um, some other guys in my clan who really are uh, uh, top blokes. So um, and I've even made some business partners through it, like you know. So um, uh, and actually one of one of our clan members is is a, an actual British tank commander. Um, he was battalion commander in the Gulf War, Second Gulf War. Wow. Yeah. So and um, we actually sort of started doing some business together. We both work in tech industry, so. So yeah, it's been a it's been a great journey, and I have to thank my brother for that. So yeah, so I think uh, let's go to I think we could go for another winner, shall we? Let's do it. I can't remember. Yeah. Is it my turn or your turn? I think it's I think I think it's your turn. Yeah. Okay. It's number four, so it's your turn, right? I think yeah. Okay. Awesome. So our next winner, and this is of the fifteen hundred bundle, right? This is the last fifteen hundred bundle, and then we've got the two big gold bundles next. Awesome. So we'd like to congratulate uh, Benjamin Hem Hemulik as our next winner. Sorry if once again we're, we're pronouncing these wrong. Um, yeah. But <laughs> but congratulations. Yeah. Well done to you. Um, actually, I think we did mess up the order, didn't it? Because you did Nicola. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, well. doesn't matter. As long as they're winning, right? As long as they're winning, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as they get announced. To be honest with you, I don't mind not messing up people's names, so I'm happy to let you do it. <laughs> so, um, um, so, okay, that's cool. So let's take another couple of questions here. So um, I think we will take our next question from, let me have a look. Uh, we stopped with, the last one's from Black Myth, right? So this one, um, uh, the next one is about monetizing my channel, so um, I, maybe I'll answer that last because we um, we want to we want to uh, that might take it. Um, but actually, no, let's do it now. So um, let's talk about monetizing the channel because I think it's important. So um, I know you monetize your channel from the start, and it, uh, maybe you can uh, talk about that. I mean, from my perspective, the reason I didn't monetize it was I I felt that if you monetize the channel, you kind of enter into an unwritten unwritten contract with your subscribers where you're you know they're 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 helping you get some money and in return you should provide them with consistent and really top quality content and you know i i, I travel a lot i usually travel a lot with work i haven't been this year because of covid but normally i travel a lot with work and i just wasn't confident that i would have enough time each week to um to honor that contract and make enough good content videos for them i didn't just want to put out some you know quick crap i wanted to make sure it's good content and 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 put it out regularly so if i couldn't honor my side of the contract i didn't want to enter into that since then people have told me look that's kind of stupid and you know you should put a lot of work into just do it so i recently just started monetizing it but i'm just a virgin at that but i know you've been doing it longer and i know you also have a very interesting uh, rationale behind it so maybe you want to give a bit of detail on that one yeah for sure so um long story short um so my wife's not a fan of the game um yeah and um and so, happy wife, happy life. Just uh, some words of wisdom there. Um, and so, any type of things I do for giveaways, uh, return has to be. It has to come from money made from the game. Um, upon the decision with my wife, it's not <laughs> money from our account. So, uh, in order to do and give back. It has to completely come from what I'm doing with the game itself. So that's just kind of long story short. Yeah. So it has to be kind of in a way self financing, right? So yeah. Um, and I know exactly. I mean, um, we both have kids as well, young kids. Yeah. Um, and believe me, they're they're pretty expensive, right? <laughs> so um, and it's only going to get more expensive as they get older and go to school, and then I don't even want to do a university, right? So yeah. Um. Um, so yeah, I think I I I, I, I kind of get that completely as as a father as well. Um, I think uh, you know, and that sort of dovetails interestingly into what I why I started monetizing the channel now because exactly what you what you're doing. I want to use the money not for myself, but I want to give back so that we can have more giveaways. But also the charity drives. I've done a few charity drives on my channel, and um, so also maybe to give money to. Um, you know worthy causes as well if we have something left over but going back to what we were talking about earlier about making you know being an influencer if you want to use that word you know really um, making a, a difference if we can do more giveaways give away more things it all adds to the community spirit right so that's that's sort of my thinking on this 
And uh, I hope then that we can, we, that you and I can do a couple of more of these collaborations and and and, um, and utilize this monetization to give something to give even more back to the community. So, which would yeah, be fantastic. Sure. Yeah, more of the muffin and pants. Muffin pants, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> all the way. Yeah, that's right. All the way. So we um we have um let me see now um we have then um one more question um from Sky Vulture. So why don't we do the um second from last winner? Um, and then we'll go to Sky Vulture's question, and then we'll announce the final winner. Yeah, nice. sounds good. Sounds good. You want me to butcher another one, or do you want to? Uh, I think um, <laughs> you. Uh, you know what? You 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 do this one, and then I'll do the last one. Yeah. All right. right. So that sounds good. Now this ahead. this is for the bigger bundle. Bigger yes. bundle. Here we go. All right. Um, so this one is uh, Sh Sharma Shivan. So congratulations. How do you think I did on that you pronunciation? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, th I I think you did pretty good, and I actually think that um, uh, I did the right thing dodging that one. Um, okay. <laughs> I I seem to remember though when um, when this email came in, I think that um, that might be your way around. I think I think the uh, guy's name might be Shibank Sharma. Oh. Okay. But I'm not hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But anyway, we do apologize, Shivank or Sharma, whichever is your first name. But I guess the three thousand five hundred gold is going to compensate for myself and Muffin <laughs> butchering your name on uh, on YouTube. So we do apologize. But I think just looking at the at the names, I think two things become apparent. Right. One, we definitely chose these randomly because if we weren't, we would pick much easier names than this to pronounce. <laughs> uh, and secondly, that I think. You know, it shows we have subscribers from all over the world, and that we're going to be sending this gold, I think, to all four corners of the globe, which doesn't make any sense, I know, but you know what I mean, <laughs> everywhere. So, um, so I think, um, yeah. So it's a, it's a definitely is a, a, a multinational and international giveaway. So, so uh, congratulations to um, to you, um, and um, we've got one more place to go. But before that, we've one last question coming in from Sky Vulture. So let's have a look at this. Um, so he says, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much, Sky Vulture. Just wanted to ask you, what is your opinion about the Mad Games, which is coming up this Tuesday, and Uprising, which is on Friday? Um, uh, he's asking what our opinion is about those. So maybe you want to go ahead, Muffin? Yeah, I'll kick it off. Uh, so, yeah, Uprising, Mad Games. Um, I think it's nuts. I mean, it's absolute chaos when you're in it. Crazy stuff all over the place. It's not originally what pulled me into the game. Um, I'll be honest, if that's what it was, I don't know if I would keep playing. I'm more of the realist, like realism. I love like more of the real aspect of it, um, which kind of ties into my love for history and everything else. And um, sure. so I think they're fun, you know, every once in a while. Like I, I think it, it kind of adds some flavor, some spice. So to say to the game ever so ever so often something new and, and I do it you know also from time to time um, just when I'm getting that crazy wild and free mood but um, yeah I definitely like more of the real realistic uh, part of it yeah um, I, I mean I, I like them as well I think um, I think it definitely spices things up and it gives a bit of variety I think you know the thinking behind it maybe for more gaming is that it's it's not always possible for them to interview new tech trees and new tanks all the time. It requires a huge amount of development. And this introduce is uh, something, and by only doing it occasionally, it's something they can bring in, spice it up, you know, makes it a little less boring. And for players grinding um, a particular line, um, you can earn a lot of credits in the different models they have, right? So yeah. you can earn exponentially more credits. So this is, I think this is a great thing for many, for many players. I mean, it, for for you and I as YouTubers, if we're reviewing tanks and that, we have to do it in the in the real in the normal mode, right? In game yeah. mode, mm -hmm. because otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So sometimes we don't even get a chance to play it, I guess, right? But um, yeah. definitely, you know. Also, it's not my favorite part, but I understand a lot of players love it. But if you want to grind credits, it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a great place to play. Oh, for sure. And I would have to say. Oh, and it doesn't affect your win rating. Yes. That, that's another thing. It doesn't affect your win rating, yeah. so you could be wild yeah. and free. I would, that's one thing. Sometimes yeah. I do like gravity mode. When you just like yeah. go just soaring 
in a mouse or whatever. It's just hilarious. Yeah. You do get some good laughs out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, by the way, sorry, there is one question. We, we forgot a question, actually, because um, when we were discussing it earlier, there is a question um, we forgot. So um, I do apologize. Where is it? Um, there's a question we, we discussed it earlier about our favorite uh, tech tree tanks, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want me to go ahead and kick it off with that one? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. right. I'm trying to find a question now so I can actually uh, credit the... <laughs> the <laughs> so... So I guess while Armour is looking for the the credit to the question, um, gosh, favorite tech tree tank. So honestly, it is kind of funny because I know we had talked about this before. I I am more of a light medium tank guy. However, my favorite in the tech tree is I really like the T eleven O E five, and I really like the E one hundred. Are just classics. However, my favorite premium is the tier nine uh, AMX. Uh, 30 Pro, um, that is just an amazing tank. So um, it's kind of funny, just from the tech tree, I just like those heavies, but I'm more of, yeah, that uh, I lo love that AMX. Yeah, there, there's some good choices, although, you know, I guess you're, so I'm surprised that you picked the heavy tanks, uh, because, you know, particularly 100 it's not exactly the most dynamic tank in the world, right? It's, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's something about, like, just being able to bounce rounds. You just like come in, it's just like this bully. You know, and just, yeah. I'm not a bully by nature, by any means, but <laughs> um, no, it's just fun. Like it just, I, I like being able to put myself in some good positions and be able to bounce those rounds. It just makes it really cool, I feel like. More like a tank game. Yeah, uh, I, I, I get that as well. Um, and the T1, the T1 E 5 is, Kind of like a helium, right? It's very mobile for a for a heavy tank, right? So I guess yeah. it's, um So my favorite tech tree tank, I guess, um, I've always had a special affinity for the RU two five one. Um, I used footage from the RU two five one in my first intro for my for my videos, and um, back in the day when I wasn't really making good quality videos, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and actually, you know, going back to the other question about camo, if there was legendary camo for the RU two five one. Just take my money. Just take my money more than <laughs> I'm buying it straight away. So I, I would definitely uh, that one would be cool. I'm still I would really like them to come out with one for the Yag Panzer E one hundred. Um ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would yeah. I would love to see that one. There's still some I'm, yeah. I'm still waiting to see, but that one I think would would be cool. Yeah, I just call it the ammo rack. The ammo rack legendary camo, right? So There you go. <laughs> yeah. I would say when they came out with that Tiger Two Savage camo, yeah, I was just that same. I was like, take my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, one of the, you know, I don't know if you know um, Voodoo Steel. She's uh, one of the admins on the Pure Blitz North America. Okay. So I think when it came out, she posted like ten seconds later, War Gaming, take my money again. <laughs> so, uh, so I think a lot of people, a lot of people had. Uh, had uh, had this uh, yeah I mean and it does look great I mean I, I got it as well and then I actually um, ran it out and the first game I ran it out with the camo I got a mastery badge in it so um, there's something not about it to do with the camo but yeah there's something about <laughs> it you just feel you just feel like you're you know you just feel like you're you know you're rolling across the steps of Ukraine yourself or something you know so <laughs> it's true it's very true yeah premium tank I would probably go for the Dracula I think it's oh, probably Dracula. Yeah. It's just an awesome, awesome tank. Everything about it is great. I think that the Helsing and the Dracula were probably the best two tanks they ever had in an event. Okay. Um, yeah. I like I like the symmetry of Helsing and Dracula from the story. Um story written by an Irishman by the way, Bram Stoker from Dublin. Actually he lived just hundred and fifty meters from where I grew up. So oh, cool. um, he's yeah, like a neighbor. So I like the symmetry, they put a lot of thought into it. And just the design that went into those two tank tanks is just awesome. I mean, the Dracula just looks spectacular. It yeah. moves like nothing on on, on Earth. And um, one of the most mobile tanks in in Blitz looks great. It's really effective. It holds its own. It's up tiered. And the Helsing is also a great tank, but I just slightly prefer the Dracula. I think that oh, would be my man. favorite premium tank. Dracula, best engine power to weight ratio, hands down. I mean, most light, medium tanks, I mean, even really good light tanks 
have an engine power to weight ratio of like around 25, 27. Dracula's got 40. Yeah, it's I know. Incredible. I just I just featured it. I just featured it in the maneuverability video I did. I don't know if you saw it. I was one of the advanced police tutorials I did. So I used the Dracula to to uh, test out this new M index formula that I, I created. So um, yeah, absolutely, it's just awesome tank. So yeah. I, if I had to pick a favorite premium, it would be that. Good choice. Um, yeah. So um, let's. Okay. So I think that's all the questions. The Q and A. You guys, I probably should apologize. Um, you know, myself and Muffin were originally going to do a live stream, and then we realized with the time difference between us, because I'm in Prague, he's in Utah, that probably wouldn't would be difficult. And then we so then we changed at the last minute. So then I only put up the request for the Q and A yesterday evening. So I know a lot of you can get a chance to get in with questions. But we're going to do this again, I think. All right. Yes. So we'll get more questions. And uh, we definitely get a chance to, to get uh, answer those questions because I think it's been really great. It's a great format too. It's also uh, great to be able to answer directly what uh, some of the people are asking. So then we last our last winner, right? That's it. And I am probably going to um, um, really butcher another name here, <laughs> so um, I do apologise in advance. But I think it's Abdullah Haryan. <laughs> um, I'm glad you're you're doing that one. I think I would have done a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. I think I hope I got that right. Um, so Shukran Habibi, thanks for entering. You're our last winner of three thousand five hundred um, uh, gold bundle. Congratulations, mate. Um, again, I think this is going to an, uh, yet another destination. Um, so um, I definitely, we're sending this gold all over the world, which is really great. And again, it goes back to what we were saying earlier about you know how international the community is and. Um, so really fantastic. So uh, maybe we should ask, um, I don't know if the, any of the viewers noticed the connection between the words that we chose for the, the code words we chose for the giveaway. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody mentioned it, right? So, so basically, we, you know, we chose chocolate and blueberry, which are two muffin references. Yeah. Um, types, of, types of muffins. And then we, we chose pants and uh, we chose boxes and briefs, which are two types of pants, right? So. <laughs> Good code um, words, really good code yeah. words. I thought it was fun. Well, I, ha I have to say, creating muffin-related code words is a lot easier than pants-related. <laughs> 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 no, it was great. Yeah, I didn't get a single comment uh, about anyone noticing them. So honestly, yeah. great, great yeah. code words. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you know, just uh, thinking about my clan lead, um, Tips and McStagger. I can just imagine him sitting here watching this. He says. I have a code word for the pants, shitty. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, That'd be good. Maybe expect that <laughs> in the next one. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe not, because we have some under 18 here. Right? So, <laughs> something a bit cleaner. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, maybe, uh, uh, if you want to have a final word, then yeah, you Yeah, final off. word. So, once again, thank you guys so much. I uh, love our subscribers. Love doing this for you guys. We're going to keep uh, putting out some excellent content for you. Uh, me and Armored will do some more stuff in the future. Um, and as I always say, and I'm at the end of my videos, you guys stay cool and keep tanking. Awesome, Muffin. And likewise, just echo that. I hope we can do a few more collaborations like this um, and give away some more and make the community a better place. And I guess then all that remains for me to say is, hands off. <laughs>